Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss a team composition for Team North Von Frosty. But before that, if you want updated EXO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, so today we're going to discuss um, a team composition for North Von Frosty. So one of the teams that I actually personally like um, I started with North Von Frosty actually as my primary team, but I eventually evolved towards um, Astoris and Wasted Red, and now I'm going back to them um, because the way that they control the game, the way that they you know uh, dictate tempo as well, um, the build of North Von Frosty as a team is actually built, of course, on their signature force. So. When you're building this team, consider also building your signature force for North Von Frosty so that um, Shofraken, uh, let's say for example, Valentina or Ramji or other you know, um, North Frost, Von Frosty heroes would be tougher in terms of defense, especially in defense. Iris is actually part of North Von Frosty as well. So, But Dorka and Bathory, of course, they're not part. They're just there to support the faction for North Von Frosty. So the build for North Von Frosty would be defense heavy and based primarily on control. Okay, so taking out your enemy's ability to do things during their turn. That is actually their strength. That is why I like to play them because um, once once Valentina pulls off her, her, her what they call it, her mana burn and her, what they call this, her bind, then most probably the game is over for you especially if you have finishers like Bathory you have finishers like Dorka as well and you have additional control with Shufraken so before we for example move on to um, the abilities of these heroes I'm actually going to discuss all of the heroes based on their speed who goes first so for this team um, basically, Dorka goes first, so I, I'll discuss her and what she brings to this team. Let's find her profile here. Okay, for Dorka, basically, I'm, I'm not I'm not going through all of her skills. Just going to give you guys the most important parts of what she gives. So she has basically for her passive Soul Bond. So again, for Soul Bond to take effect, so grants allies with less attack than self with Soul Bond mark and heals 30% of missing health every turn. Reduces magic damage taken by 30%. The trick with Soul Bond is um, Dork has to have the highest attack. But you also have to consider that Bathory's passive Tranquil um, goes off also on the highest attack. So in this case, it's either you forgo, you know, if, if, if Dorka has the highest attack, she doesn't get tranquil, if, obviously. If Bathory gets the highest attack, then she she isn't being healed by 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 Dorka every turn. So that's the, the you know that, that's a trade off. But for my you know for my experience, I'd rather have um, healing with everyone, uh, including Bathory. That is why Dorka should have the highest attack, based on my opinion. So um, that is where she actually gives um, gives very much help to this team again dorcas first because her base speed is 116 you can actually tinker with her speed um for her to go faster but her base speed at, at level 75 is 116 again so what does she give again so she actually also is important because she you know if she is the fastest in your team then she actually does bind especially for um, especially when you have unleashed potential her, she has the capacity of binding them for two turns. So not ga gaining any mana for two turns. And it's actually it actually slows them down a bit. So this is actually what Dorka brings to the team. Um, she also gives piercing damage, um, damage over time. But those are the things that she helps very much with this team. The next to go after her 116 speed is actually Shufraken. Shufraken is, is a bit fast. Um, she, he is actually at 76 speed, base speed. Based um, with, with, without, when I say base speed, this is without modifications. This is without signature force. So his base speed is 76. So she, uh, he goes second, basically. 
So you can actually modify his speed through signature force, through the gear that he has. So for Shufraken, actually, what is good with him is actually his ability to give Fear of the Abyss. So Fear of the Abyss is actually a flex target with less defense than self. With Fear of the Abyss, uh, Fear of the Abyss mark, if targets have 10% or less health at the end of the turn, deal 65% damage to all enemies in the same row. Okay, so this is actually good in cleaning up dying heroes. This is actually good also, um, uh, for example, for the opposing team who has uh, Tranquil again. Um, this is good. Um, Fear of the Abyss mark is actually driven uh, by increased defense for Shufrak. And so take note here, because some of the skills that, for example, um, Valentina has... Um, relies heavily on Fear of the Abyss. So you have to make sure that um, Fear of the Abyss actually is king if you have um, King Shu or Shufi in, in, in your team. So for the other abilities to pop up, like for example, Ramji's abilities, Valentina's abilities, he has to have the highest defense of all, especially on the enemy side. So... I would suggest that you build him solely for defense in terms of um, what you call this in terms of um, awaken him and in terms of um, the gear that he has I would suggest you you give him a lot of defense um, adjust his HP according to signature force and other modifiers that you have for the rest but I suggest you 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 put on a lot of defense for him so that he could trigger a lot of fear of the abyss so also, what's good with Shufraken is is um, one of his skills, which is his S2, Destruction of Time and Space. So basically, this is... Um, it deals 210 damage, the back row, all back row. So who is in the back row? So you have there, you have... Um, you have uh, Bathory, you have Rera, you have Janai. Uh, most of the Nombi are in the back row. So... What he does is afflicts targets with freeze for seven turns. So freeze is, is an equivalent of stun actually here in North Von Frosty. So that's what's good about him. Dealing 150% additional damage for each self-harm stack on the target. Self-harm is actually an ability of Ramji if you have him on his team. I'm putting Ramji right now on alternate. So you can actually switch him in if you decide to use him in his comp. Um, I'll explain that later after I've explained the first five. So basically, Ramji here is your sixth man. So this is actually good for him if you could pull this off and also stun them, sorry, freeze them. Um, and they won't take a uh, they won't you know be doing for seven turns this would be great as well so um next would be i think um we have ram sorry we have iris so we go first to the first five so for iris iris here is basically your your primary mana provider and also, Iris is actually your. She she takes away. She takes away. She 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 nullifies barrier barriers of first dragons. That is why you should have her here, so that um um North Von Frosty won't have a problem in, in taking away barriers, in, especially dealing with first guardians. So also she provides Summer's Blessing, same as same as Valentina as well. Um also. If you, for example, reach her Unleash Potential, which is, for example, the best uh, way to provide North Von Frosty. Um, for her Stamina Tree, her, her Overtime Effect reduces damage against all allies by 30%. So she has this 30%. If you don't have Ramji, Ramji has this as well. So if you don't have Ramji on your team, you have to make sure that she has this to lessen um, the damage that they take. Because this is actually part of how you know how they can survive actually um, hits, attacks, and pull off their shenanigans, their control, control shenanigans of the opposing team. So that is actually important for 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 Iris. Iris is actually well known for giving two mana, two mana every turn. You can spam this. Um, definitely, she'll have one mana because this is actually a one mana cost skill. So definitely a good skill to have. And this one. 
um, for her um, white mana release. Um, this is actually just a finisher if you you know if you've controlled the game, if you want more offensive power, then she can actually deal some damage actually. And this is actually very good as well. So for Iris again, her primary role is mana nullify barrier and summer's blessing uh, and reduce damage uh, thirty percent for all team members because of her unleash potential. Okay, next would be. Um, sorry. By the way, Iris' speed is 74. Okay, so Shufraken 76, Iris 74. The next um, to move actually in the sequence, in battle sequence, would be Bathory. So Bathory actually, uh, her speed is actually 56. Um, it's, all, it's, it's actually good as long as she goes first than Valentina because... Number one, she has to take away Summer's Blessing if actually the opponents have Summer's Blessing. That's her primary function. You use actually, you're usually going to use Moby Dick to take that out. Then Valentina can actually do her stuff later. I'll explain her what she can do. But before that, the main reason why she is here, um, uh, what do you call it? Battery is number one, she has high, sorry, high damage AoE, uh, burst skill for her S2. Um, and also good damage for S1. She's actually she's actually very good in dealing a lot of damage for her S2. She actually is also valued for her Tranquil. Some say that Tranquil right now is, you know, it's useless because of Signature Force. It's useless because of uh, Fear of the Abyss. But I tell you guys, this is very still very annoying. Um... I'm glad that there is Signature Force because we, we have a way of dealing with Bathory. Way back when there was still no Signature Force, when, when nobody um, discovered Fear of the Abyss yet, Bathory was very, you know, very OP and um, no solution for her, not that much. Now, she's actually, she's still good. She's still good. Um, I'm not saying she's, she's useless, but she is still good. As long as you build her um, kind of kind of high health, um, she will actually be a good support to your team as well. I'm um, still with Tranquil. Okay, so also she gives all other allies except her 20% uh, of her own health. That is why you need to build her up as well with high HP for her to be able to give additional HP to the whole team. So the last, um, the last hero to go off in this battle would be... Um, Valentina. If you can, if you notice, I haven't awakened Valentina. Um, I haven't um used her in terms of team build since I was using her and Shufraken and Iris before, but now I'm actually trying to awaken her. That is why she has all red, um, ready to go. And signature force for them is actually very good as well. I'll show you that later before before we end this. But for Valentina, the only purpose of Valentina here, although she has, for example, she has Summer's Blessing, Flap Flap, that's actually good. That's an addition to what um, Iris brings to your team. But you have her here because of her S1 and her S2, which has Mana Burn and which has Bind. Okay? I'll read this again. So it deals 525% damage to one enemy, Mana Burn, uh, 10 mana, so takes all the mana that, that um, all of the enemies have. Mana burn to all enemies afflicted with fear of the abyss. That is why it's very important for you guys to make sure that fear of the abyss is being applied to everyone. Okay, for this um, component to work, fear of the abyss is actually very important. Again, okay, so it also binds all enemies for 7 turns. So she, so she strips them off with mana, then um, the enemies cannot gain mana for 7 turns. And this is practically game over if you have, you know, your end game would be Bathory or your Dorka. Actually, she also gives a lot of damage as well. Shufraken as well. So basically, this is your, this is the, this is what this team is actually built for. So uh, once she pulls this off, the enemy usually cannot respond anymore and it's usually game over. Okay, so if you decide actually to bring in Ramji, um, Ramji will be your sixth man. Your sixth man because um, in the build you have there, 
Um, Dorka, Shufraken, Iris, Bathory, and Valentina. Okay. If you decide to bring in um, Ramji in this team, you actually have to um, make sure that you know who to swap. So for my Ramji, he actually also brings in the reduces damage to all allies by 30%, can't be stacked. So um, definitely you don't you don't replace Iris, you don't replace Shufraken, you don't replace um, Iris, Shufraken, Valentina. The only two heroes that you can replace if you want would be Dorka and would be Bathory. Okay? So, but I would recommend Dorka because you actually are applying Nullify Heal in the other side. So, that is why that is why you don't need that healing because they, they won't be healing as well. So, you could take away Dorka, um, probably take away Bathory if you like, or probably test out this, you know, this, this, this synergy. But, um, I actually like uh, like uh, Ramji here because he actually is, has Dragon Scale, which can be applied to to his fellow teammates or our team members. This is all, all also gives them uh, much survivability, and also he has again he has Nullify Heal. And um, if you notice with Shufraken, he actually has one skill, his S2, that has a condition of dealing additional damage if they have self-harm. So again, Ramji gives them self-harm. Self-harm mark target with uh, if they're with Fear of the Abyss again. So again, Fear of the Abyss is actually very crucial in applying um, all the shenanigans that Ramji has, Valentina has. So you have to build your Shufraken, right? Very good, tough, um, I don't know. Signature four should be perfect. Should at least have up to fourth. Um, I'll show you later, guys. What 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 you what you need to know to go to for signature fours. So again, it deals another five uh, twenty six percent damage if they have self harm again. So also with uh, with the with this S one. So also the same. So for me, actually. Um, I'm actually happy that they're in they're in the top top you know top tier teams in PvP as of February 7. So if you haven't seen my video for that one, I'll put a link up there so that you can check out that video and check out the other teams um, in the top PvP. But they were actually there. They're one of the top four usage out of 50, which is good. Um, and I do hope um, North Von Fro Frosty has actually good success in this meta because their control, um, they, they, they aren't reliant so much on heavy damage. They're re reliant so much on controlling the tempo, controlling their enemies, controlling the turn. That is why I like, I like to develop them um, as a secondary or a primary team. Um, let's take a look at my signature force right now. So currently I do have... I do have Wasted Red as my primary, so I'm up to 2.3 for Wasted Red. But actually, my North Von Frosty it doesn't lag behind because actually for my primary team, I have um, the Garf, Radley, Annie, and Iris, and Ramji. That is why I'm building my signature force for for uh, what do you call this for North Von Frosty as well. So first one it would be your additional damage darkness damage second would be your provides um, buff to two or more if you have two or more in the team then buffs to shafraken which is actually crucial as well the next would be, would be buff to valentina you have to actually give valentina additional speed because she is actually very slow so but if you buff valentina you also have to buff battery because if you won't, you know, buff battery, and if your um, opposing team has um, summer's blessing, then um, you cannot really apply your your bind and mana burn uh, for Valentina. You have you have to make sure that battery goes first to take that out, so that Valentina can apply uh, um, mana burn and bind for the opposing team. So I actually I'm leveling up to this. I'm actually. Um, I actually have a lot of FC FC Shufraken already. Um, I, I I actually took out the 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 hero and you know left out the 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 what do you call this the fate core. Um, I want to level this up 
at least up to here, up to Ramji, because actually Ramji I'm using with the other teams as well. So this is actually good as well, additional damage, and probably yeah, um, up to here. So once I'm done with, um, actually th these are the two signature force that I'm actually building right now. But ideally, you have to build um, a good North One Frosty team, probably up to. Actually, this is good already. One, uh, one, uh, one point four. But ideally, you have to go two point four because this is actually big as well. So the more enhancements you have, the more survivability they have. They don't rely so much on big damage. They rely so much on control, on being um, controlling again tempo, controlling again um, what the other the, the opposing team can cast or not. So basically, a good faction, very kind of tricky to play. But again, if you build North Von Frosty properly, you can actually have a great team, all around team, and. Um, also this team again doesn't you know doesn't um doesn't lack in 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 pve content most of most of what you're going to invest in this team is actually going to be useful in your pve content so that is why i am actually um you know i'm actually you know happy that they're back in pvp and i'm actually going to build shufraken and valentina now um for my teams so if you can see for my account I actually have Shufraken up here. He was down a couple of notches below. I still have to build Valentina. I still have to awaken her because I didn't, you know, didn't invest on her. I actually um, got some of her gear and transferred to other to the other players or to the other heroes that I have. Now I'm actually definitely building her kit. And we'll see for North Von Frosty. I'm pretty much excited that they're back. And they're really, really back. Anyway, guys, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out.